head back out to Los Angeles and get the thoughts of F.P. Santangelo who called the game with Bob. And F.P., you watch the battle, the seventh inning, probably their best chance, but continually they tried to go as deep as they possibly could against Kershaw to keep the Nats in the game. Yeah, tough assignment for Chris Eisey, right? Coming off the bench and trying to tie the game up off of Clayton Kershaw when you're sitting around all night. So you can't really fault Chris, but the line was moving there in the seventh. You were hoping they knocked him out of the game. That was their really only shot. I didn't think Kershaw was on top of his game like you've seen him in the past tonight. They had a chance to get some. And it just had a weird vibe, guys, here at the ballpark. We are all excited to see Steven Strasburg versus Clayton Kershaw. One of the best pitchy matchups you're going to see all year. And then, I don't know, 45 minutes before we go on air, we find out that Steven Scratch, we hope he's okay. But to go from that high to, you know, what's going to happen tonight with his Mara Petit, he's the unsung hero of this game, giving up just three runs. So a great outing for him. Way to go. That's why they got him. I think he did a great job. And Steven could have given up three runs tonight. We don't know. But the whole game just had a different feel, and I know if we were feeling like that up here, that they were feeling like that down there. So just a, just a weird night, I guess. Chalk that one up and hope we can take two out of three or at least win tomorrow. FP, you're a hitting coach. Uh, you know a lot about hitting. You're around these guys a lot. Um, I, I just sense sometimes just an inconsistency uh, with our approach. I know that um, you're seeing, well, you talk about it, uh, the floating of Zen and certainly that balance that I, I remember the first year that Bryce had trouble with balance but I don't recall him having trouble last year or even the year before with balance um, just your thoughts as a hitting coach um, what you're seeing with our ball club up and down the lineup and um, and what do we do to correct that movement especially forward with Zim because he's taking some pretty uh, pretty weak swings well just talk about Bryce for a second Ray I mean you're your former manager hitting coach you know a lot about hitting it's so hard to hear you guys with this PA system here but I mean you go back to 13 in 14, Bryce was a max effort guy. He would lunge at the pitcher. Remember all the highlights we showed of his back foot off the ground, and we were marveling that he had the Frank Thomas home run swing. Well, what did he do last year to win MVP? He had balance. He kept his back foot anchored on the ground. He was taking pitches balanced. He was swinging balanced. We're going to go through some video tomorrow before the game and try to break it down a little bit. I'm going to talk to Rick Shue on the difference. But he's almost like Ichiro right now, where he's falling out of the box and swinging at the same time. I don't know if he's conscious of the inside pitch. I don't know what's going on, but I've never seen him all over the place, and maybe it was Clayton Kershaw tonight that really, really amplified it, but tonight was the worst I've seen him all year as far as falling toward his own dugout. So I'll get to the bottom of it tomorrow. I've been sitting up here grinding, watching every single game, trying to see what the difference is, but I think it's more of a mental approach than anything physical. I think once he makes his mind up to drive the ball to left field, stay on the baseball, and backspin it the other way, that you won't see that falling over balance thing anymore.